Hello, everybody, and welcome to Human Resource Machine. This is a game that I saw recently on Steam. It just came out. I'm just super excited about this one because, well, there's two major reasons. First, this is a game that is made by the creators of World of Goo, which is one of my favorite little games ever. Absolutely fell in love with that game because of the art style, and I can already tell that they're going to be bringing that art style here and that just comical nature. These guys know how to make fun games. Number two, this is a game about solving puzzles using very basic programming knowledge. Uh, you're basically making or solving programming puzzles. So that, as many of you know, is right up my alley. So I want to check it out now. I played the game for just a couple of minutes to, uh, to see what it was like, but I'm really going in blind here and I wanted to bring you guys along with me. So let's check it out. Yes, please select your employee ID. Uh, all right, I guess I'll be this one here. I have your photo here somewhere. Which one is yours? Uh, well, this is clearly a huge, huge game-changing decision. I'll, I'll have to think long. Oh, that, that happened. <laughs> employee number one. That would be me. Creepy guy with the big, yeah, that guy with the eyes. Here's your badge. All right. Please proceed to the elevator. Excellent. Okay. So this, I think think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is all the, every one of these circles represents a puzzle that we have here. You got to climb the corporate ladder, make your way all the way up to the top. So we got a long way to go here. I guess there's like side paths and stuff here too, like optional, you could call side avenue quests or something, but no, let's go. Mail room. This is where it gets started. <laughs> all right. Welcome to your first day. This guy's great. You look like an excellent instruction follower. Of course, of course. Your first job will appear over there on the right side in a moment. Remember, you can always ask me for help. <laughs> Count on it. Okay, drag commands into this area to build a program. Your program should tell your worker to grab each thing from the input and drop it into the output. Alright. Run your program whenever you are ready. So... I'm guessing we have them pick it up out of the inbox and drop it to the outbox. And hit play. Do your thing, buddy! Excellent. This game is so easy. <laughs> I, I suspect it'll get a little bit harder. Uh, not enough stuff in the outbox. Oh, wait! I didn't do it! I didn't do it! Uh, reset. Do this one. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. I gotta do all three of them. Like that. Like this. Like that. Like this. Good. Go. Do your thing, buddy. Oh, is this like a little speedy up jobby? <laughs> Giddy up! <laughs> Alright. Mailroom, year one. You, 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 yes, good. Oh, you passed the test. Uh. Presence requested on the next floor. Who's this lady? She's got some funky glasses there. Okay. The busy mailroom. We're not just talking about mailrooms anymore. No, no. The busy mailroom. Yeah. It took me a year to get here? What? Well, looks like you've made it this far. Yes, yes, I have. Congratulations on your promotion. Most people stress out and quit before making it this far. But I can tell you have a bright future in the inbox outbox management. Yes. <laughs> I have lofty career goals. Here is your new assignment. Uh, okay. Ah, the jump command. Okay. I'm guessing this is how you form very primitive loops. So let's do that. Let's do this. That's going to make him go get one box. So he goes and picks it up. He drops it off. And then we're going to do a jump. And then, all right, jump back up there and go. Go, 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 buddy. Inbox, outbox, all right, speed up, speed up. Yes, looping. I like the little green arrow there on the side that's telling you which step it's currently executing. Super fast. Nice. All right, and we're done. Perfect. I'm really curious to see where this is going to go here. Presence is requested on the next floor. Copy floor, making copies, making copies. Oh no, he says. The inbox conveyor system is completely broken, but that doesn't mean we can take a day a break off of work. Uh, okay, ignore the inbox for now, sure. And just send the following three letters to the outbox. Bug. The facility management staff has placed some items over there in the carpet, blah, blah, blah. And uh, pick them up. Okay, so let's see. Copy. The only thing that seems like an option here is copy from. Copy from B. All right. And put that in the outbox. I think that's all we got to do here. And copy from U. Good. Outbox. And copy from 
the G for the bug and take it to the outbox. Let's see if this works. Let's go, Spanky. Move those letters. Move those letters. Do we do it? I think we got it. <laughs> this is great. Next one. Moving right along here. Scrambler or Handler. Year four. Man, I have a slow-moving career here. The conveyor system is fixed. Excellent. And just in time for you to get to work. The data won't collate itself. All right, grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox in the reverse order. Repeat until the inbox is empty. Hmm. Okay, they're getting tricky now. You got a new command. Feel free to copy to wherever you like on the carpet. Okay. So, we got to reverse the order. We're going to pick it up. Let's see, we're going to try copying to there. Then we're going to pick up the next guy. Take him directly to the outbox. Copy from that guy. And take him to the outbox. I think that should do it. Copy. <laughs> I just chucked it over shield. I'm done with this boss. <laughs> Alright, the five. And then the four. Not enough stuff in the outbox management. Oh, I have to do the whole list? Wait a minute. Grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox in the reverse order. Repeat until the inbox is empty. Uh, okay. I just did the first top two things. Oh, and now I just gotta loop the whole thing. I think I just have to loop the whole thing. Uh, stop. And we'll do jump to the beginning. Is that what they want? Go. Superman! Gotcha, okay. Didn't realize there was one little loop left over there. My presence is requested. Oh, I have a new supervisor. She doesn't seem quite as mean. Coffee time! Uh-oh. <laughs> this is great. Oh. Mm. Mm. Cup of Joe, cup of Joe. Back to work, everyone. <laughs> this is great. Uh-oh. Oh, is that like someone important? Oh, that's a newscaster. Power failure. All right, authorities, do that investigation. Not sure how that concerns me. Oh, now I see how it concerns me. I gotta solve puzzles without power now. All right, rainy summer, year six. <laughs> Ugh. Welcome to my personal rain cloud. I was never very good at math, since I have only three fingers on each hand. Oh, that's that's a bummer, dude. Ah, but I hear you don't actually need to know very much about the mathematical assignments. Alright. For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the outbox. Okay. You got a new command. Add. Add the contents. Okay. Interesting. Take this and copy it to slot one. Inbox. I'm guessing I have to copy things that are in the slot there. So let's see. Well, this is the, this is the big payoff here. Add is going to add this to... What do I add? Oh, I probably add what's in my hand. Okay. Let's ditch that then. And all right. So that copied it to the zero slot. Picked up the next one. Added it to the zero slot. And dropped it in the outbox. And I think if we loop that, let's see what happens. All right, drop you off the three, chuck it over the head, pick up the four, add it to three, boom, got a seven, throw it out, loop the process. Oh, copy, okay, overwrite, pick up the eight, get a little 14 action, throw it out. I think we got this. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to get stumped here, and I'm just going to kind of drool from the mouth, trying to figure out how to do this. Oh. All right, we have we have an optional path here. Of course, I have to obviously take the path that is optional. The tripler room. Interesting. Whoa, who are you? You don't belong here. This optional area is for high performing. Oh, oh, well, sorry, I must be in the wrong room. Is that you? Well, you're late. Seven years late. Wow, tough crowd. We need to make some changes around here. I want to see 100% performance. Performance improvement. From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. Okay. For each thing in the inbox, triple it. Uh-oh. Uh... Alright. Well, we don't have a multiply command. Let's see. <laughs> Self-improvement tip. Where are we going with this? Please leave the high-level decisions to management. <laughs> don't you worry about that. Okay. Inbox. Copy to you. Inbox. This is going to be tricky here. Copy to... 
you. Oh, wait a minute, I have to triple it. No, 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 okay. Sorry, sorry, I'm adding them together. Inbox, copy to zero, copy to one, copy to... Oh, I only need to copy it twice. Now we add it to zero, and add it to one, and outbox it? Maybe kind of, sort of? Let's see what that does. This is probably totally wrong. Now I put the three down. Add it to get six, nine, bam. Loop it. Oh, I'm loving this. <laughs> this game is great. Excellent. If you guys are enjoying this, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Let me know. This is very experimental for me, as you know. So if you want to see more of this, you want to see me follow this game to completion, hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And I am totally enjoying it. We're going to do a few more puzzles here. Oh, we're going to triple zero. We're getting tricky here. You're done, buddy. You're done. Tripler room. Side channel. Oh, oh, seven. Okay, well, I'll come back and use that. I'm not one for the uh, for the super optimal path stuff yet. Octiplier, they're sweet. No, that's just that's just going to go up the multiplier chain. All right, let's go back over here. I'll I'll do those later. I think. Zero exterminator. All right. Year seven. Oh, they're all my copy things here. Where do you see yourself in five years? Probably in the mailroom. <laughs> I have a note here from another boss that says, from this point on, your performance will be valued with extra scrutiny. What a treat. Mm-hmm. Heard that before. Okay. Send all the things that are not zero to the outbox. You got a new command. It jumps only if the value you're holding is zero. Okay. Jump if zero. All right. So we have conditional statements now. Inbox. Jump if... Zero. All right, so if they're not zero, so let's see. If it is zero, then I just want to jump back and get another thing from the inbox and outbox it. So take an item. If it is zero, just take another item and then outbox the ones that are not. So I think I should do it. Let's try. Let's try. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Totally forgot to, to do the jump to the loop-de-loop. -loop. All right, you go there. All right, here's a zero. You should chuck it. And we ain't got time for that zero. Put the one over here. Loving it. An A, sure, why not? A couple of zeros. We don't need those. Chuck those on the floor. Get rid of you. All right, fiber. And this one he should throw away. Oh, wait, am I? Okay, good. I don't know if I was going to get stuck there or something. Side challenge. Use four more. Oh! Ha ha! Got it. Bam! Nailed it! This is great. Alright, we'll do... Let's see. We'll do one more here, and then I'll wait to see what you guys say. So, oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, sub hallway. I know what that's going to be. That's going to be subroutines. Uh, but we'll, we'll save that one. Alright. Zero preservation initiative. Interesting. It has come to our attention that the Zero Advocacy community, <laughs> community? community felt the previous assignment was not inclusive. This time, send only the zeros to the outbox. What happens to the other numbers and letters? Management leaves that detail up to me. All right. All right. Pick up a thing. If it is zero, let's see here. If it's zero, we're gonna jump to outbox. And then otherwise we're gonna slide a jump in here that goes back up like that. <laughs> I'm making this up as we go here. All right, pick it up. If it's zero, jump there, put it in the outbox and jump back to the top. If it is not, it's gonna jump back up and pick up another thing. All right, let's try it. Five or no, zero over in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my little guy go! Doing work, buddy! Make it happen! How'd I do, boss? How'd I do? Yeah. Five or fewer commands? Five. Nailed it. Speed challenge! Oh. Oh, well, I'll have to come back and optimize that one later. Continuous elevator! Alright. 
This was just a short little video, guys. I wanted to give you guys a little sampling about this game here called Human Resource Machine. I am definitely playing it all the way through. If you guys want to see me finish out the rest of this game, which keeps on going, it looks like we'll have a few episodes here, maybe four or five episodes. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the game and uh, if you want to see more. All right, guys, that is going to do it then for today. It was a short one, but that's going to do it. Talk to you later.